Hey guys, Zoid here, back again with another review, and today we're having a look at the Monster Force Creature of the Bloodbath Lagoon. Okay, no, 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 no. That's a different guy. He's a monster. Get it right. Um, recently hit 100 subs. Props, man. Props. Um, <laughs> so, um, today we're having a look at Creature of the Black Lagoon. The Black Lagoon. Take this to a whole new level, but I won't. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he is um, the Gill Man of uh, many people's knowledge, and yeah, he is pretty cool. Um, little cardboard thing there. Like I said, might chuck him, might keep him, might trade him if you want. And his stand also does come with a little treasure chest. It's got it's got little things in it, and they're removable. Oh my god! So you can be jealous that you don't have lifesavers or money, because uh, that's what they look like. This base, he doesn't really stand on it well. I mean, it's molded for his feet, but his legs are a little warped, so he doesn't really stand on that. The best, oh, the best. Okay, no. Um, and then he does come with this harpoon of doom. The harpoon of doom. Check that out. That is freaking sick. So if you uh, press this button here, shoots this out. Um, I don't know if the end of this spins. Nope. But funny thing to know, the bottom of it rotates, and there's nothing really going on. So. Pulling this out. I've had this in his hand all week. So. Uh, having a look at the creature's articulation. He's got a swivel in the head. Swivel in the shoulders. They can go full 360. Why not? And his legs are the dread V cuts, but they're not too bad. I mean, you can give him decent enough running clothes to look like he's actually running. Um, even though this guy lacks most of the articulation that the other ones seem to have, uh, the way swivel and the swivel's at the rip pretty much a whit right across there. <laughs> Um, he is my favorite. Why? I love the design. Um, the design is freaking awesome for this dude. He's got spikes on his shoulders, he's got the big arse fin. He's completely modernized in every way. And he's 20 years old, so that's saying a lot. Um, uh, now we're gonna give him his weapon back, because I think he looks cool with it. It's like sticking it to the man, like, yeah, you freaking poachers, I'll stab you in the gut with this. Screw with me. Flat up, stick a harpoon in your bunghole. <laughs> or something on those lines. And did I mention it looks like an axe? It looks like an axe here. Looks like an axe. A quadruple bladed axe, so that is awesome. Uh, size comparison for it's pitch dark, and we do have real werewolves, wolfmen, whatever. 
Here he is next to Goliath. Freaking Goliath, you take up too much room. Um, there. Uh, there he is next to Goliath. And then uh, Doc Reed Crawley, who got shoved all the way in the back during these reviews. And he's in a dumb pose. I'm not kidding, this is a really ridiculous pose, but there he is. And as you can see, the creature is about, again, up to Goliath's brow, and then... And he's standing straight. I mean, you don't get straighter than that. <clears throat> um, and then Doc Reed Crawley only comes up to about eh, a little bit higher than his shoulder. So about this guy's uh, where his mouth is, or maybe in between there and his brow. So yeah, he's a big one. Um, probably as large, if not second or larger than Frankenstein and I won't get him out why well because I don't feel like it so deal with it deal with it so uh, yeah the creature I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 even though he only moves in five places five places still gets a 10 out of 10 um so that that uh concludes my monster force reviews for now I am going to get Lance McGriver and uh Trip Hansen to complete the set, obviously. Uh, when? Well, I don't know. I'm trying to complete some other sets right now, so probably around mm, February ish. It's still January at the time of recording this and uploading it, so mm, yeah, I'll say sometime in February. February, whatever. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time, catch you guys later. P.S. Don't go in the water. Or drink it. It's dirty. It's dirty dirt. Whatever. Um, I'm not getting anywhere with this. Uh, don't flush this guy down the toilet either. Catch you guys later.